So I was 16 at the time and I was studying in a boarding school. I was a member of musical club so we had this huge concert coming on in the end of the year. So there was this time where we had to stay back at our campus during a week long holiday. So during that time we will practice all day long and during the night times the teacher advisor will join us. She will always bring her toddler to he was 3 years old at the time. So this particular night, our teacher's son started acting so oddly. He started whining and cuddling with our teacher. Suddenly, our teacher stopped us and asked us to go back to our dormitories. And that time was 10, 10.30. That is far away from the time we usually go back to our dormitories. Without asking much, we did what she said. So the next day, our teacher assembled us and started advising about the things we should do before entering the room, like recite the doa and all those things. So she told us that her son was sick. She also told us that she heard a woman's voice singing the song that we are playing in the musical room from the gamelan room. So we didn't really talk about that thing for the rest of the day until one of us remembered that we had recorded the session so that we can able we will be able to spot our mistakes. And then we listened back to the recording that we recorded the night before. What we heard in the recording was far more worse than that. What we heard from the recording was someone screaming and crying in the background. We didn't have any logical reason behind what we heard. So we immediately deleted that recording. And that's my school ghost experience. Thank you. So basically the event that led up to the incident happened in 2013 or 2014. I'm not sure. It was way back when I was in school. So the incident happened when the teachers announced that the annual uniform body camp, which we usually have it every year outside of the school. But this year, this particular year, they needed to do it. They need to help the camp in school. When the camp was announced, it was announced in the morning assembly in, on Monday. A girl from Form 3, I guess, I think she was Form 3. She suddenly screamed in her class. It was a very very loud scream because I was at the third floor. The whole school was shocked like what the heck what was, ha what was happening right? They said that she saw an entity in, in class. She was in, in class and the entity was standing at the corner of the class and the entity was looking straight at her like staring at her and she was shocked like, because she, she was in class. She was focusing on the teachers and suddenly an entity came into class and stared at her. Uh, day by day, the incident increased. So, on the first day, it was only one student. Second day, it was three, and then it increased to four, five, and six. And then came to the climax, where it was on Friday, where we would have our Yasin prayers in the morning. And then during the Yasin, halfway through, a boy stand up. He stood up and started running to the school field. And some other boys started to chase him because they were afraid that he would harm himself, something like that. So when they helped him, he was a tiny little boy, but he was as strong as like 10 men. And then back at the assembly, assembly hall, a girl started to stand up. She started to run against the wall. She stood up and thank God a teacher was passing through. She grabbed the student. If not, she's going to crash into the wall and hurt herself. The whole school was in chaos, like we didn't have class that day, thank god it was Friday so we went back home at 12. After the incident, there were never anything, any camps, any activities held at school after 6pm. Uh, the activities that were to be held at school would, would be until 6pm only and after that there won't be any activities. Is my school girls experience. Thank you!